Composition in art. Here are a few guidelines. I want to talk about tools and techniques, more about techniques, but I will offer a few tools as well. Composition is a general topic for art. Well, of course, in watercolor class, we use watercolor, but photography, painting, sketching, even crafting. You think of why a quilt might be attractive or a particular wall hanging. Any of the visual arts, composition is important. So what is composition? Well, we have elements of art. Line, line width, line depth, shapes, colors, textures, the use of space, positive space, negative space. But those, when, on their own, when combined with elements of composition, we get an interesting looking visual effect. Balance, contrast, focus. Do we have a focal point in our painting? Motion. Van Gogh is incredible at making motion in his paintings. Are there patterns, repeating patterns? Proportions. Unity of the whole theme. And how that all blends together, all parts of composition. There are, however, some rules to help us. Composition is arranging items in a pleasant way. We're trying to draw a viewer's focus to an area of interest. A really good composition can elicit a reaction. Ideally, maybe I just want to sit and look at it because it's so peaceful, or it's just so interesting the way that is. Ironically, harmony and composition comes naturally to children, and somehow or other, we manage to get rid of it. So here's the American Gothic, famous painting with some notation. I've taken the liberty of drawing all over them to show the rule of threes, the images divided in thirds vertically and horizontally. There are some focal points. He's staring right at us. She's looking at something over to the left. The pitchfork, which I highlighted in red, certainly a focal point. The people in the painting are overlapping and this gives us a sense of depth. You think about it, you think of them standing next to each other, but they're really overlapping. And they're overlapping the buildings, more depth. And there's nice triangle shapes in the roof and mirrored in their shoulders and the pretty little window at the top of the roof. And triangle shapes are a good compositional tool. I've taken the liberty of drawing all over Van Gogh and putting in the thirds. So this left-hand spire tower is in one third. The bottom third is mostly the landscape. The top two thirds is the stars. It's a starry night. We want two thirds above the horizon. So that's the important focal point of the image. There's also a thing called the golden ratio, which math-wise is things that are 1 to 1.68. So they are rectangles, not squares. And if you make smaller and smaller versions of these rectangles, you can get a very nice curve. I looked at the curve and thought about Van Gogh. And I thought about a Nautilus shell. And I looked it up, and the golden ratio is found in nature. But not quite. Nautilus shells are actually Fibonacci sequences. And Starry Night is close. Placement is important in your composition. Overlapping is good. It shows depth. One half, two thirds, different percentages and fractions make for depth and realism in an image. Are you making a landscape? Think about the rules of three. What's the dominant image? Is my ocean dominant? No, I, my sunset is dominant here. So I really want two thirds for my sky and one third for my ocean. Other compositional techniques, just a few quick pictures here. Upper right, we have framing, what it would look like out a window. An L shape. In this forest, we have an L shape of the trees. A triangle shape, we talked about in American Gothic, but here's a nice triangle of apples. A Z shape, great for a winding creek or a road. And strong diagonals, here I've made a winter and a summer strong diagonal. So what kind of tools do we have as artists? We can make an image frame, 
as simple as taking some pieces of mat board that you could extend and expand to make a rectangle and look at your images through that. Take a reference photo. Take that reference photo, scan it or load it into your computer and hit it with Microsoft Paint. And then you can crop and change and move it around and get just the elements that you want. See something interesting out and about? Take a picture with your phone and manipulate it to be your reference photo. And of course, there's always physical location. You want the classic bowl of fruit, the best thing to do is get that classic bowl of fruit and set it all up. So I hope these little tips were useful to you. Um, one quick slide of my citations and I'll be done. Thank you.